Welcome back guys to Paper Mario and we've come back to Boo's Mansion here because I just forgot after our massive chain letter excursion we had one to deliver here to a Frankie Boo whoever that might be and when I say it like that Frankie Boo it makes it sound like I'm some kind of weird person calling him my lover I don't know why Oh, my Frankie Boo, I love him so! Our lady is joining Mario to defeat Tub of Lover, we know! Such courage, such brave beauty! You will need help to defeat Tub of Lover, we know! But are you Frankie? You're Frankie, correct? The name's Paracari, I deliver letters! I believe I have one for you! Hang on a moment! Let's give the letter, straight away! Another letter, duly delivered! A postman's job is never done! Oh, thank you! Oh great, it's finally in! This is from a guy I know who deals in useful items from all over the world! He has a great eye for items! He just got something in that I've wanted for a long time! Oh, it's the coolest thing! Are we even not even bothering about fishing anymore? Oh wow, I almost forgot! Could you deliver this for me? Sorry if it's a bother! There's a toad child in Toad Town named Dane T. Please deliver it to him! He's dainty, is he? He always seems to be playing by the station with his pals! He must like trains! Thanks a boo! No problem, we gain ourselves another letter! Another time to go back! All the way, but of course, no warp pipes! So we're in this chapter for the long haul. Onwards and onwards and onwards and onwards! Let's get out Lady Bow! And dodge the Hyper Goombas, which I'm sure have respawned by now. At least we know back in Toe Town as well, we can access new areas. Because with our stomp attack, was it, it's the jump spin or something along those lines? We can now do that! Excuse me guys! Bye bye! Pardon me! We already defeated you, we're fine. Can I shake this bush? It's not actually a proper bush. Can't even knock the tree, it's just concrete now! You are Sandy Boo's man- Sir, madame, whatever! Oh, Lady Bow, what a surprise seeing you! You know your ladyship! You really shouldn't come around here, it's dangerous! Tubber Blubber could come here at any time! I know! I came here to teach that tub of blubber a lesson! Bring him on! When was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady, it was horrible! He, uh, this time he- he ate Herbert! Oh, it was gruesome! Poor Herbert! He was so dark and depressing, what a terrific boo! Oh no, not Herbert! Ooh, tub of blubber, he must be stopped! Listen, everyone, don't fear, we're on our way to defeat this tub of blubber once and for all! That monster has eaten his last boo meal! Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But you know he's called the Invincible Tubber Blubber. Please be careful, okay? We've got to find out how not invincible he is. When you come across Tubber Blubber, don't fight. He's invincible. Although somebody who claims to have no weaknesses must have at least one. If you could find it somehow. Everyone keeps making a very massive point about this weakness. Buddy, did you know you can walk slowly and stealthily by moving the control stick a little bit? You can use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. Oh really? Just like this slowly, or... I guess it's that slowly, yeah. Ah! Secrets! Hidden away! Nothing else than one coin though, however. You've got to watch out when you fight Hyper Goombas. They charge up their attack power and then unleash it. The best thing to do when they get charged up is to get out of sight the Lady Bow. She is pretty handy for these guys, that's for sure. I had a friend who escaped from Tub of Lover's castle the other day, and he said, The key to solving the secret is inside the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and body, and don't. Then, just as he was finishing, Tub of Lover ate him. I wonder what the rest of his message was. Just yum. Good way to keep the secrets hidden. Oh, hello, Boo, I guess. Poor effort. Sorry, I had a weird dream last night. His dream voice said, Sometimes you must turn and run away. You must run and run until you reach the tower with the spinning veins. Something like that, anyway. What could it mean? My friend escaped from Tubba Blubber's castle, then get yomped. He claims that Tubba Blubber hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. So spinning veins, a bed, body and mind and heart and soul and all that jazz. Hello there. You're going up to beat Tubba Blubber, right? Yeah, get revenge! He'll never eat another ghost, never! Especially not Herbert! Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! Tub of Lover's coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bow, you have to hide, Mario! Mario, we have to hide! Use my power immediately press down! Um, do you want to hide yourself, sirs? 
Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Tell ever can see you right now. Um. Uh. Hmm, looks yummy. I needed a snack. Can you just phase through his body? Erp. A little tangy, but good. That's an odd, weird chest he has going on there. Patched up. Ho, oh, Stanley! Herbert Stanley, these ghosts have great names! Oh, the horror of it all! Oh no, it was horrible indeed! Stanley, no! Ah, why you two? Stanley, we will avenge you, Stanley, and Herbert too! Right then, so it appears there are secret enemies hidden. Are they hyper? Something along those lines we're gonna need to tackle. Find out exactly what's going on with you. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. Okay, that's not a good sign, that's for sure. Okay, this is a hyper cleft. Hyper clefts are more defense power than normal clefts. Max HP is 4, attack power 3, defense power 3. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charged attack will take away HHP, so we still need to use our friendly Lady Boo. And I'll miss you as you become transparent. The defense power will fall to one if you use an explosion to flip them over. And in case you hadn't noticed, they have spikes up top. It'll hurt if you jump on them. So basically, we want to engage them always with Bombette. Of course, he's going to charge up Hyper, so we may take eight damage here if Bombette can't kill him in one attack. So we can power a bomb, explode and destroy all enemies, but we're going to just destroy a enemy. Ready to go? Let's do this. Okay, this is not so good, but he's turned over, so he can't attack us anyway. We're completely and utterly fine. When we see them, we always need Bombette. Get ourselves some FP back as well, so Bomb Bet comes into action as well. They're doing very well at making you switch your party members at the right times, if you know what I mean. Now, can we reach that with you, Cooper? I mean, that's a little bit too long to fly over. We've got the Dizzy Dial. If it works, dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. However, we still have a lot of items collected anyway. What do we want? What do we not want? Let's use... The super no, we don't want to throw away the super soda. Grab the super soda. Oh, let's just throw it away because we actually have. It'll only actually restore one FP. I'm fine. We're cool. We can do this. I was gonna swallow it rather than just completely throw it. Okay, we got a hyper goomba here. This is time to use bow. Oh no, actually, we need to tackle these ones first. We haven't seen a normal goomba after all. Ha ah, ah. ha. We've got a Repel Gel. Makes Mario transparent and vulnerable for a short time. In battle? That could be interesting. I'm getting rid of the Dizzy Doll straight away. I got hit. No! I wanted to at least get first attack. Right then, what do we do? What do we do? Tattle is first. This is a Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goombas are crazy, uncivilized Goombas living in gusty gulch. I bet you wish you were one. Max HP is 7, attack power 1, defense power is 0, they sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charged attack will take away 8 HPs, we know that bit. It's a good idea to use bow or an item to become transparent, the attack will miss for sure. We know that much, we're actually going to have to switch you in right now though, bow, because they're probably all going to charge on the next turn because we tattled. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's because I didn't attack them. All the same, they've been nicely dealt with. For some reason I feel like taking the back row fighter out first. We well, didn't get to the full amount, but we still did enough damage. It's kind of hard. I, I don't know about you, but knowing all the mechanisms to use, be able to defeat them in good time. Get out of sight, because this could get really painful.
Come at me, Goombas! Fly off the screen! Like a missile! I love how they come back with like sweat drops dropping behind them, like, oh, we're an idiot! Take them out one by one, hopefully we get double experience, because we're not actually that far off a level. It's taken a long time, considering the fact that the first enemies we were facing in the woods were only giving us one experience. But now we're getting there. Smack him to death! It's a lot harder to press left multiple times than it is to press a button repeatedly, that's for sure. Another six star points, we get ever closer! So yet another level up. We'll leave the dizzy doll behind and find another letter! It's a feist tea near the entrance to Forever Forest. So is that the guard or the weird guy that's inside the Forever Forest? Right, we see there in front of us another hyper cleft, most likely. Ting! Do you know what? Let's be a bit over the top here. Blow them all up! Didn't actually kill them all, however. That was completely over the top. We can actually kill them, though. Oh no, because of timing! Charge all you like, sir! We have to save the rest of our FB now. Oh, it's hold A down, isn't it? All these different attacking mechanisms! Even though they give you a thing down the bottom where you can see what you're supposed to be doing. Give us some FP, thank you. I forgot we might need to bomb some for clefts as well. This is so problematic. Let's get Bow out. I need a place where I can attack him from. Ah, oh, didn't get it. And that's quite a few of them, that's for sure. I feel like multi-bouncing, but I really shouldn't. I can only do one damage normally anyway, so let's keep ourselves nice and safe, eh? Some pretty good slaps, that's for sure. Considering the fact that she does multiple part one damage, when even she's got her two her damage upgrade, possibly two, she's only useful against enemies in general that have low defense values. Maybe they don't charge if one of them has full HP. So if everyone on the field has full HP, they don't use their hypercharge. Of course, they're probably going to use it this turn and prove my theory wrong. Oh, what's going on here? I'll reduce damage again. That's fine, however. As we could just dodge. Not exactly that hard. It seems like the theory's holding true at the moment. If you did the experience spell, we'd be set for now. We'd be so good with the experience spell, we'd level up. It'd be amazing. Aha, he's gone hyper. So if I miss my jump attack... Now if I hit it... We're completely fine, we can take him out with Lady Boo. Thank you for this 8 experience, we're one battle away from another level. I think I'll take HP this time though, we need more FP, that's for sure, but... We're going up against an invincible foe, Tubba Blubber. A little bit more HP can't be a bad thing. Right, it seems we need to take the high road over here. We won't miss this extra battle because it's going to restore all our FP again. Ah, oh, a little bit more FP and we could have blown them all up. It's actually the best thing for us to do right now, that's for sure. Hmm. I'll give us the FP we need at least. I don't think we restore that on level, but I'd rather these guys were all on there. <laughs> All on their faces, upside down! 
but will they get up straight away? No, they won't, so they're pretty much easy pickings now. Now let's get the attack timing right here. That's what I really want to do. There we go. Went through them all, no problem. Here comes the level up screens. Let's take a little bit more HP for now. I really want more badge points rather than more FP, but I'm going to need to pick up some FP soon, that's for sure. Anyway, power carry, time to get us over. But I haven't been losing any HP recently, so our HP totals are pretty good for a while, I imagine. Nice and easy, normal Hyper Goombas. You take them out without any issue whatsoever. Too bad that we couldn't take that guy out in the way I wanted to, though. I will just finish him off. He only gives us one star point now. We actually took damage from one of them. It was terrible. Let's get smacking. Too bad these guys don't give me too experience anymore because they could get ourselves to a level quite fast. It'd be pretty nice. It'd be definitely preferable. So many badges I want to equip in so little time. I'm slightly wondering when Tubba Blubber is going to appear again. Well, we need to hide our double experience, madam. Thank you. It'd be good if you did that last battle. We pretty much need to rely on her to level us up. Yes, I did see something coming at me really, really fast there. Never bad to have these health restoratives, but we don't really need it. Oops, I don't have Bombette out. And there's more than one. This is not so good. Hmm. Attack power 5. It strikes one enemy only. That's not so good. We definitely need our bombing lady out. We needed a bomb twice, I think. If those guys charge, we're pretty much in trouble. Oh no, we won't need to bomb them twice, but a multi-bounce might be what we need. Or we're going to be taking a fair whack of damage. Right, so I've got to time this 100% correctly. And that's a wipeout of all the foes, that's great! Another 8 star points. Seems that the Hyperclefts still give us free experience each. That's not bad. Is there something hidden behind there? Ah, another star piece. Brilliant. Random block. Ah, multiple coin block. Great. Those clefts are definitely our worst foes at the moment. When it has random blocks all like that, I keep thinking there must be a secret there, and you guys seem to know all the little secrets in the comments. It's amazing you have memories that retain that much for these games, because, man, I don't. It always looks weird when there's a crease on the map like that, like there's something hidden around, but nope, nothing at all. It seems we've come to the door. Possibly Tubba Blubber's Fortress. So I'm going to end the episode a little early and we're going to step inside next episode. So join me for that and I'll see you guys around. We fought our way up there, gained ourselves another level. Lots of party members switching. Time to face the invincible next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>